Fabio, thanks for taking your time. I hope you had a good trip to Japan. Good trip, some events already and good to be on track. Busy home to be. It looked like uh, you had a really great time in Indonesia, a bit of party on Sunday as well. <laughs> a bit too much, no. <laughs> was uh, was nice also to, to disconnect a little bit with uh, with all the members of of the team and uh, and yeah we had the, the monday to relax so it was was nice we really love to see that a bit like the fabio we used to know that lighthearted is it because of the good results from the last weeks i think the last weeks were were positive because uh, already we made some you know some q2 that you know we made three q2 in a row that basically from the first 10 races we did only one or two so this was uh, was great the results are coming a bit better we are in in a good way and i think also the atmosphere on the team is is better when when you are going faster and more than the result is that we are improving so mm. that, that's the most important and probably one of the most important things that uh, the feeling within the team is, is great yes the feeling because you know from first race till I would say from later Austria was really tough because we we made a big change on the mentality on the way to work so everything has been better but not the performance and uh, from Misano test we we have been working well finding finding a way and also as a rider when you start to feel that there is improvement you go faster automatically so this has been great and hopefully from now till the end we improve even more how confident are you that this is going to be another good weekend for you here at this important weekend for the factory? Which is a track that uh, can be great but also difficult because we are quite good in the braking but there is many acceleration and we struggle a lot in the, in the engine. So um, we don't really know what to expect but at least we will give our 100% to, to really, really be in the Q2 from tomorrow and, uh, and try to you know, to fight for a great result like we did in the last three races. I'm sure the Japanese fans would be happy to see that. How would you describe the mentality here? How do you get it when you're here around being a big star in Japan as well? You know, the mentality and the fans especially are much different to, to, the, to, the Euro to Europe, even to Australia or, or different Asian country. I mean, Japan is, is really special because they always give you some, some special gifts, some uh, typical things from from Japan, and uh, as a rider to see the fans like that is uh, is quite fun because it's a unique place. And how would you describe it compared to being at home in France, where you are a big star? You also got uh, awarded by President Macron. Yes, I, uh, I mean in in France is also really special because from Thursday to till Sunday, uh, the French fans are, are really cheering for for me and uh, it's super special because we have only one home GP. We don't have the chance like uh, Spain or Italy that they have <laughs> more chance to, to have uh, their fans in, in, their, in their place. But uh, yeah, France is completely crazy. Also, you can see from Thursday already on the camping, the people with the motorcycle revving. So it's, it's really funny, but it's completely two different fans. I mean, uh, both are, are, are really great but totally different mentality. You have achieved so much in such an early age. Um, so what is it that keeps you motivated even during difficult times? You know, I taste uh, in 2021 the, to be world champion and uh, the feeling of, of winning is unique. And uh, because you can bring so much happiness to many people, uh, also to myself, but uh, you know, as soon as you arrive from making a great result, you can you can see your family proud of you, your your team, and and this at the end is what make me really happy to see my people happy for for what we achieve together. So this is what motivate me, and I think that is uh, one of the best reason to to keep working really hard. How hard is it to wait for that m moment, this feeling to arrive again? It's long, it's long uh, and it's hard, but uh, you know, in 2023, I was really um, thinking about leaving uh, to another team and I asked many things to Yamaha, uh, a big change of, of mentality of new people and they did everything I asked. So now uh, I came from not believing uh, in the project to believe 
and uh, now I don't know when we will start to be fighting for these positions but I believe that uh, we will go back again. Let's say for some people it was a surprise or they don't really understand why you decided to stay with Yamaha. Yeah, I can imagine because, you know, I resign having bad results and this also for me has been, uh, I would say, long decision because from, I would say, August, September 2023 till uh, March. I, I didn't really take a, a decision and I think that was the moment to to really believe in the project because I didn't need more time. People say that I signed way too soon but Yamaha bring everything I'd really ask. So this was the, the decision but yeah I, I can understand people's people reaction but from the inside I think that uh, has been really important to, to keep believing in the brand that make me be who I am today. What are such things you ask for? Like I said, big change of mentality, new people, people who really knows about uh, a bike that is winning now, about a red bike. Um, and also, you know, for me, Max Bartolini is the new, um, let's say, new person in the team that really, for me, make me stay in Yamaha, uh, to be honest, because Uh, the way we are working, the way everything, the decision are taking much more fast. Uh, in the past, we need one week, one month for something that can be done in a, in a minute. And and this is the change. Also, the Japanese engineers uh, are trusting him. So this is, uh, I would say, the main reason for me to to stay with with Yamaha. It's not only this thing. This is going to change. It's also that the Lin Javis is um, finishing at the end of the season. Yeah, I mean, uh, with Lina I have a really good relationship. Uh, for me, uh, like I already said, for me, is uh, not good or not bad, but just a new chapter that will begin next year with um, with Paolo. Uh, so um, I think Lin will still help him a little bit in the beginning. Uh, you know, it has been, I think, more than 20 years that Lin has uh, been in this position. So. Um, Uh, for me, he's a legendary person in, in the paddock and uh, he's the one of, of the people that uh, make me uh, make the step in MotoGP in 2019. Mm. With uh, Pramac, you also get a private team uh, joining Yamaha. In which way do you think that Jack Miller and Miguel Oliveira can help this project? Yeah, also with uh, Pramac and uh, Paolo, we, we talk a lot. I have a really special relationship with, with Paolo and uh, I think that, uh, you know, I don't really call it private team because for me it's just the colors and <laughs> and the sponsors that really change. For me it's an extension of, of the factory team. I think uh, Ducati made the big step because they had four bikes uh, the same and uh, it will be great also to have one experienced rider like Miguel and, and Jack that has been um, both on KTM Aprilia and um, and KTM well I think KTM and Ducati so this will be will be nice and finally they are developing a V4 engine in which way will that affect your work so I think that first of all will be the testing that will uh, really work on the on the V4 when it will be ready and when we will use use it I still have uh, a clear idea um, But this also was uh, also a big, big thing that uh, that Yamaha is investing, investing, uh, and I think it's going to be a, a big challenge for them. But uh, I'm sure that we will make also a step. I think it's fair to say that you're the main actor in uh, this project. What would it mean to get back on top together with them? It will be a dream, because uh, also my ego wanted to to bring Yamaha to the top, you know. Uh, like I said, they took me in 2019 when I was clearly nobody. I had the chance to, to step up because I made two great races in Moto2. We has been world champion together. We were clearly clear in the bottom in the middle of the, this year. But I want to come back. I want to come back with, with them. Uh, I don't have many, many years. Um, but at least the next two years I will be fully committed with uh, with Yamaha to trying to
to make a big step and try to fight back for, for the championship. So would you say sometimes it feels even better when you had to take uh, the hard part before? Like not joining Ducati or another good manufacturer at the moment to do it with them? At the moment, like I said, uh, I have to keep the loyalty to, to them. Uh, because I, I feel I'm, a, I'm part of the family. We, has been, we have been, uh, I think this year is our sixth year with, with Yamaha. Uh, time flies, but I mean, we are with uh, a legendary team. We are having two tough years, but we have to remember that in the past, the Japanese manufacturer has been always winning. I know it's a different uh, moment, but uh, I'm sure that uh, Yamaha is is building a really strong bike for the for the next years. And we really can't wait to see that you being on top hopefully soon again. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.